Hi, it's Alicia and welcome back to my channel. Today, as you saw from the title, I am gonna go through my Sephora purchases for 2020. Um, right now it's August. I thought it would be fun to go over my first half of the year and everything that I purchased um, out of a lot of the makeup and skincare stores. Sephora is definitely where I go to the most uh, and I do most of my shopping online. Probably like many of you this year, we're not really going to the stores. So I thought it would be fun just to do a little recap on what I bought and what I liked, uh, what I didn't like, and if there's things that I would recommend or things that I probably wouldn't uh, tell you to spend your money on. If you like this video, please don't forget to give me a like. And if you wanna see more of the makeup and baby and mommy and all the things we have to offer here on our channel, don't forget to subscribe. So in this video, I'm not only gonna go over products that I purchased uh, both in store and online, but I'll also go over things that I used my points for. Um, Sephora has a really great point system. You can now use it actually toward cash. I think it's like, $10 is 500 points. So I think that's really cool. Um, they're improving their point system to compete with some of the other competitors, Ulta. Um, but I thought that was really cool. So I am gonna go over some of the things I used my points on also um, because they're still products that I've used. So let's go ahead and get started. So the first purchase I have here is in January. January 20th, I purchased the Makeup Forever Matte Velvet Skin Blurring Powder Foundation. Um, I purchased that and I got it in the shade Y445 Amber. I used it twice, but unfortunately I didn't get the right shade. So uh, it was just too dark for my skin. I tried to make it work and I'm not really comfortable with using powder foundation because I think you have to use your products in a different way and I'm just really not comfortable. I haven't really dipped into it very much um, or I didn't dip into it very much because I actually ended up returning it after two uses because it just wasn't my shade so there was no point in holding on to it. Um, the other thing I purchased in that same order was the <laughs> invisible hair ties. They're like the, um, in, it's the Invisibobby hair ties. And those are the ones that are spiral made out of plastic. And um, it comes in a three pack set for $8. And I, I liked it when I had um, my long hair. The only thing is they're kind of a little chew toy for my daughter. She likes to bite on them and chew on them. So um, I, I actually think I have one still in the pack that I just have almost forgotten about until right now. Would I buy it again? Probably not, just because I have been using scrunchies lately. I don't have one in my hair, I have a clip. But I've been using scrunchies lately. I'm home most of the time, and I think these are just less damaging to my hair. And now that it's short, um, a scrunchie's pretty easy. Um, the next purchase that I have is a few days later, um, and that's in January as well. I purchased the Olay Hendrickson. This is the Dark Spot Toner, and this is a repurchase. This is something I think I've talked about in my empties video, and I love that toner. I've been using it now. I think I'm on like three or four bottles in, um, and I just love it. I think that I've seen such a difference in the dark spots on my face, and I will probably keep repurchasing repurchasing it. It is $29, um, but I definitely see a difference. The next thing I have is the Huda Life Liner Double Ended Eyeliner Liquid and Pencil. Gosh, that's quite a name. Um, but I got that and I was kind of excited for it because the last double ended uh, product similar to this was actually the one by Tarte. I think it's called Double, I'll have to look it up. But I loved that one and um, I just wanted to try the Huda one. I don't reach for this that often and that's really because the brush tip on this, um, on the liquid liner, the brush tip is very flexible and I always seem to just mess up. I can't get this thing to work with me or for me at all. Um, I do actually like the charcoal side. If they sold the charcoal side uh, alone, this is, um, I guess it's not really charcoal, is it? Um, 
Yeah, it's just an eyeliner pencil. If they sold this on its own, I would probably buy this alone. This was $25 and in my opinion, not worth it for me. Other thing that I got on this order is actually the YSL um, men's perfume. This one, um, I don't know if you guys remember, during Christmas they had like a sampler pack for men and it came in like a toiletry kit and they had 13 different variations or um, sample sizes that you can try. Uh, so I bought that for my husband and Jerome went through them and um, the one that he enjoyed and the one that he liked was the YSL. So in that, that bundle and that holiday gift, there was a voucher that you can receive a full size bottle of any one of the perfumes listed. So that was really awesome. This perfume was $95, um, but the kit that I got was like 65, I wanna say. Um, I'll put the price there, but that was from Christmas. Um, they definitely don't sell that now, but if they have it again for their holiday sale um, or when the holiday bundles come out, I definitely recommend it. And I might pick one up for me as well. Um, but yeah, that worked out really good because this YSL per or cologne for men, that is $95, but essentially we only paid 65 for it. So that was awesome and the smell is so so good. Um, definitely recommend it for any guy in your life or anyone you want to purchase cologne, cologne for. So the next purchase is in February and this was February 29th. I bought the Huda Beauty Nude Obsessions Medium Eyeshadow Palette and this is a nine pan palette and um, it has more like mauve pink pink tones uh, to it. And I picked this up quite a bit. I do have a few different eyeshadows that I'm uh, really more excited about, but I do like this. And I think Huda's formula is really nice. I love her, na Ugh, I can't talk. <laughs> I love her nine pan palettes. I think that they, they, give you so much inspiration just in nine pans. I definitely think uh, if you haven't tried Huda Shadows, definitely worth it. Um, this pan or this shadow palette is $29. And to me, um, if I find a color story of the Huda nine pan palettes, that's a tongue twister. If I find a color story that I like, I will definitely continue to purchase them. Also in this purchase, I got four of the Makeup Eraser mini um, cloths or mini erasers that they have. And I got four of them because I had my cousins with me and my sister. So I just picked up a few extra because, um, you know, there were points and I was able to just pick it up with that. So it was, Pretty cool, I think it was 100 points. Since February, I got a full-size one in a boxy charm box and I love it. I think it does a really good job taking off my makeup. Um, I can just use it right in the shower. I don't love it around my eyes, but definitely for like my face and the outer area, I really like it. So um, the full price on them, I think it's like $20, but these ones were the ones for 100 points. So uh, definitely if you can have a chance to try it or you wanna pick one up, I definitely recommend them. Uh, I picked up a few things on April 23rd. This was during their VIB sale and it was a haul for me. Um, I know some people do hauls of like, hundreds and hundreds of dollars, but for me, this was a haul. In this purchase, I got the Urban Decay All Nighter uh, Long Lasting Makeup Spray, and I got a mini because I wasn't sure if I was gonna like it, and I just wanted to try it out. So I am still actually using it and rotating through a few of the other setting sprays that I have, but I actually really like it. I think their mister is nice and fine, um, and I think that it seems to work. I mean, I don't do very much much um, throughout the day with my makeup on so you know staying home isn't really too bad but for what I know and what I've seen so far I think that it's a good one let's see what else I got oh I got the beauty blender bounce concealer uh, it has quite a name it's the bounce airbrush liquid whip concealer uh, I got this in the shade 375 and that's amber and I really like this the only thing I don't like is the applicator. I don't want to get it on my shirt, but it is so hard. Don't, don't get it on. Don't get it on. Oh, you hear that? Yeah, it's like 
it's like the the applicator is too big for the tube and the first few times before I realized how to use it or how like careful you have to be. I love the formula. I think it lasts really well and I think it covers everything up in the littlest amount of product. So I like this, but if I can tell them anything would be the packaging, fix that, that tip and the, um, but anyways, the product is great. Again, my shade is in 3.75 Amber and for $26, I definitely think it's a really good concealer. Um, just be careful when you're doing your makeup and not to get it on your clothes or your desk. Okay, so the next product that I got is actually a hair gloss. It's from DP Hue and it's in the color Auburn. Um, this is a semi-gloss. I actually got it as a recommendation from my cousin who's used it a few times, but I guess when I purchased it, I didn't know what a gloss was versus a hair color because I've always gone somewhere to get my hair done. And honestly, I never really paid attention to a gloss versus a permanent dye. In my mind, I thought I could have used it and covered up some of my grays and toned my color. That did not work out very well. Um, I did keep it on my hair for about 40 minutes and I washed it out, which was an easy process, but I just did not see that much of a change to justify purchasing this again. That was $35 and that's definitely something I don't think for my hair because it is so dark. Uh, I just didn't see the value there. So I definitely won't be repurchasing that. The next thing I have on here, I did get with points and that was the Tarte um, H2O Hydrating Boost Moisturizer and I actually really enjoyed it and I still have a little bit left because I have lots of moisturizers I'm using but funny um, my FabFitFun starter box actually came with a full size version so uh, I'm going to have a lot because it's such a big tub that it came in and it's a really nice moisturizer. So that's gonna last me a good while um, cause I use, you know, the slightest amount. The next thing on this purchase is the Fenty Beauty Sun Stalker Instant Warmth Bronzer. And this is in Caramel Cutie. And I love Fenty as you probably know. And I really wanted to, to try their bronzer. So I got that and I have been using it and I really like it. It's not a very deep bronzer, but it gives me exactly what I need for my everyday bronzer. Um, when I want something a little more chiseled, I do have a cream contour that I use um, from Huda Beauty, but for every day, I think this color is great. Um, I think I can also go a shade darker, but I, again, for every day, Caramel Cutie works well. Um, it's $30, I would definitely purchase this again. I'm definitely getting my money's worth here. Uh, the last item on this order is actually something that I sampled months before, and this is the First Aid Beauty Ultra Repair Cream Instant Hydration. Um, and somebody actually commented my empties video because I got it and I only used it on my face and I thought, you know, it worked well. Um, as you see, I love moisturizers. So I use a lot of moisturizers and I'll alternate them and kind of rotate them in and out. So this First Aid Beauty one really stood out to me. But when I got the jar or the, the tub, it's actually like a tub. So it made me think like, oh man, am I supposed to use it on my body? But it was $14 and it was just two ounces. All right, so the next purchase is actually the day after. And this was again to take advantage of the VIB sale. I bought a few things, sent it to my mom. And uh, that is the foundation that she uses is actually the it Cosmetics CC Cream, um, and this is in Rich Honey. And she has been using this for a, maybe a year and a half, two years now. Um, so we've, I've, uh, well, I, she's repurchased this a few times, um, but since I got the 20% off, I knew it was something that she would enjoy. So I got that for her. Um, also, my sister, she loves the Boom Boom Cream um, from Sol de Janeiro, and the smell on that, if you guys have not tried it, it is so good. I kind of want to try their perfume, but I'm not going anywhere and I'm not really wearing perfume. So I don't know about that, but 
the Sol de Janeiro Bum Bum Cream my sister really enjoys. So I got her, again, taking advantage of the 20% off, I got her the full size and that's generally $45. Um, and she likes it. She sees a difference um, on her on her body. All right, so scrolling up a little bit. Um, I got the Hourglass foundation brush and again this was for my sister she um her birthday is actually in april so it came at a good time um the hourglass vanish foundation brush she loves it she's like i feel so fancy <laughs> using this brush but it's a really high quality brush um and she really likes the density of it and just how um it applies her foundation super smooth so she loves that um other than that i did get a few samples for her as well uh pharmacy had their cleansing balm for 100 points so i threw that in there for her um i have not personally used the pharmacy but i think i'm going to give it a try if it were available for points i would definitely pick it up the next purchase i have is in June and I purchased the Ole Hendrickson again, um, the dark spot toner and that lasted me from January to June. So almost six months is really not bad. Another repurchase on this order is the Murad Rapid Relief Acne Spot Treatment. God, everything has such long names. Uh, but it's a little tube. I mentioned it in in my um, empties video and that I've been using a few years now and I just use it when I have, you know, really cystic um, pimples or acne and, you know, when I have that, I just put it in that area. And I like it, it's $23 and, um, it takes me a little while to go through them, um, but you know I think that it does a really good job. Also in this order, I did get the Fenty Beauty Slip Shine Sheer Shiny Lip Gloss or Lipstick, and I got it in the color Cookies and Cocoa. I was watching so many reviews of people with darker skin tones to see what looks best on them. I ended up going with the Cookies and Cocoa, which I do like because it's a very natural gloss. It actually looks like the Fenty Glow. The colors are almost identical, um, but I really, really like this. It's so smooth. It's it's really like a lip gloss. That's kind of why I called it a lip gloss. Um, but yeah, it's really nice. I think that if I were to purchase it again, I would definitely get a different color. Or another thing that I got on this order is the Urban Decay Stay Naked Weightless Foundation. Um, I actually got a sample from a previous uh, order and I tried it out and I got, what shade are you? Yeah, everything is like literally right here. Um, but this is in the shade 60 CG for cool golden. The sample is just such a small sample. It's so hard to like use that to test yourself. So when I put it on, I feel like it looks good. Um, but now when I get, now that I have this and I'm putting it all over my face, I have to actually um, color correct or mix different parts of my face, like definitely around my mouth where I have um, some discoloration or a darker um, undertone there, I have to definitely use a, uh, a skin corrector or color corrector. Um, but I really like the formula. I think it's really nice. It's easy to apply. What I don't like is the pump is so sporadic. So sometimes when you do it, it like spits it out at you almost. And I'm so accustomed to like going on my face and just, you know, applying it that way. But again, it just makes such a mess. So I have to put it on my hand and then apply it to my face. The formula is really nice. And I think if I use this up, I might look at getting a different color next time. All right, other than that, I did use my points for the Tatcha, the Liquid Silk Canvas featherweight protective primer. And I've used this almost out actually, um, but I used it today also. And this is a, a primer that I will probably look into getting. That was a hundred points. If they offer it again for points, I would definitely get it. Uh, but I'm probably gonna buy the, the full size cause I, I do like it. So that is that I'm order. I'm not sure I understand. How weird.
Nobody was talking to you. In this order, I also got with points the Benefit Cosmetics Precisely My Brow Pencil. This was 100 points and I never actually used the Benefit Eyebrow Pencil. So when I saw this for points, even though the color is 3.5, I mean, I could probably stand. Actually, I did use it today. Um, and it's not bad. Uh, I don't go very dark with my brows, but I can probably stand to keep 3.5 or 4. But anyway, so I like this pencil. I'll definitely repurchase it or with points, um, or I'll probably pick up the full one at some point. So last order, uh, but definitely not the least, is actually the same day, but instead of getting it in store, I actually purchased online. Part of why I went to the store, my husband wanted the Proactive Plus, and I thought that they had it in store, but they didn't. So um, I ended up having to make this order online. So I got him the Proactive Plus three-step system, which they only sell online, um, but Part of why I wanted to get it is to also collect the points because it is $110, uh, but my husband's been using this. So he really likes it. And so I just did a little repurchase for him there. And in this, there was also a sale for 4th of July. And I purchased the Huda Beauty. Um, gosh, there's a lot of Huda <laughs> this year. Uh, but I did get the, the Huda Beauty uh, Mercury Retrograde eyeshadow palette. And that was on sale for $40. Um, I think that it's now full price. I, I thought that it was going to be discontinued, but it doesn't look like it is anymore. So it's not on sale anymore, but when I got it, it was 40 or $45. <laughs> I'm just gonna show you everything that I have today. Um, so this is the palette and I've used it a, a few times now. I'm not sure about, I don't think I would pay full price for my complexion because I don't really see very much diversity when I put it on my lid. So um, I'm gonna have to tr keep trying it and see if I can make some different looks, but I'm not a makeup artist, right? So I'm just a girl who likes makeup. So maybe, you know, there's other techniques or other ways that I should be using this, but I'm definitely gonna keep playing with it. Um, if it's on sale, I would recommend it. If it's full price, I probably wouldn't buy one of Huda's full-size palettes. Um, I love her nine, pa nine pan palettes, as I mentioned, um, but paying $65, $68 for a palette like this to me um, isn't necessarily worth it uh, for my complexion. And the last thing on this order is actually um, a mascara from Lancome. It's the Lancome Monsieur Monsieur Big Mascara, and this was 100 points. And anytime they have mascaras, honestly, I get them because um, they last to me a long time. Um, I don't feel like these go so fast, um, but for 100 points, you know, why not? Um, I probably would not buy a full-size Lancome mascara. Um, even though I like it, I don't see the value in getting such a high-end mascara. Um, but definitely if they have it available available for points, I will keep getting it because I do have what, a ton of them, kind of the little guys that I've gotten. <laughs> I do have a lot of minis that, um, you know, I've gotten with points and I really like them and, um, you know, they last a while. So that's everything that I purchased both on sale, full price, and with points. I hope you guys thought this was helpful. Maybe next time there's a VIB sale or next time you're going shopping at Sephora, I hope you find it helpful. You know, just to know a little bit about what I thought about these products. If there's anything that you want to know a little bit more about or any questions that you have, please feel free to leave your comments below. Um, if you like this video, again, don't forget to give me a like. And if you want to know more and see more from us here on my channel, don't forget to subscribe. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a wonderful day and you guys take care. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.